Hey everyone, welcome to Apogee Edge 4 minute videos for developers season 26 episode 3. In this episode, we are going to discuss about similarities and differences between Apogee Edge Cloud and Apogee Edge Private Cloud. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apogee platform. The first and important thing is the architecture and the code base is same as cloud. That means how Apogee Edge Cloud is distributed and scalable architecture. Similarly, you can implement the same thing in on-premises too and you can scale your APIs to your workloads. When it comes to features related to Apogee Edge, it is again same as cloud. Whatever features available when it comes to API management, developer portal, monetization and analytics, it is same as Apogee Edge Cloud because fundamentally we use the same code base and feature functionality in on-premises which is powering Apogee Edge Cloud. Apogee Sense, which is a bot detection platform, is not available on on-premises. It is only available on Apogee Edge Cloud because we leverage concepts like machine learning and artificial intelligence that can able to detect the bots using the cloud technologies. Unfortunately, it's not available on on-premises. Again, when it comes to SLAs and operations and maintenance, you need to take care of that in on-premise because Apogee do not have any control of the infrastructure where Apogee is installed and you are responsible for SLAs, operations and maintenance, including upgrading the Apogee releases and uh, applying the patches is your responsibility and Apogee doesn't take care of that because Apogee can be literally installed inside the demilitarized zones where there's no outside network connections. In cloud, Apogee manages the SLAs and auto-scaling your APIs. You just focus on building API programs. Apogee commits 99.99% SLA on paper and in reality it is much more than that when it comes to running your APIs on Apogee Edge Cloud. In on-premises, you will have less network latencies because Apogee Edge is installed closer to your backend services. In cloud, relatively you will have a little bit more network latencies that is we are talking about few milliseconds like one or two milliseconds because of the cloud upstream and downstream network link to your data center. But if your backend workloads are also running on the cloud, then it's negligible. When it comes to cost, on-premise is costlier in the long term and cloud, it will be much lower cost because you don't need to worry about training operations or maintenance or procuring the hardware or maintaining the hardware. You just focus on building APIs on Apogee Edge Cloud. Whatever decision you take to use Apogee Edge Cloud or to use on-premises, it's not permanent. You can able to move the assets from on-premises to cloud or cloud to on-premises relatively easily in Apogee Edge because Apogee Edge fundamentally provides management APIs and both the cloud and on-premises is built on top of same software, same architecture. You can able to move the assets, APIs between the environments easily. If you are interested to evaluate Apogee Edge, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your questions in comedian.apogee.com. Please share this video with your friends and colleagues and help us spread the love for APIs. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel and stay updated with any future videos.